Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to install LAMP onto your Fedora 18 operating system. This method will also work for any Fedora version before 18, along with most Red Hat versions of Linux. Um, to give you a quick overview, LAMP is a group of open source software used to get web servers up and running. Uh, mostly I use it for localhost kind of servers, but you can use it for whatever you want. But anyways, I'm going to show you how to install it. Uh, first thing you want to do is make sure that you're in the sudoers group. To do this, open up terminal and uh, type any kind of sudo command like uh, yum update. If it asks you for your password, you're on the right track. And as long as it loads everything correctly, you are correct. So you're in the sudoers group. But if you're not, I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. Uh, you're going to want to log into root by typing su and then uh, type in your password for your root. Once you've done that, you're logged in as root, so be careful what you do here. Uh, follow this command exactly. You're going to want to type echo, open quotes, and uh, your username. So mine will be Fedora18. Yours will be whatever username you associated your account with. And then all equals all, and then all again, close quotes, two greater than symbols, and then etc. and pseudoers. That's going to add you to the sudoers file, and you're good to go. So exit out of root, because you don't want to run any commands in root. So now on to installing LAMP. The first thing you're going to do is run sudo update, uh, sudo yum update, just to make sure that uh, your operating system is up to date. Uh, if it's not, let it install the updates it needs to, and then uh, come back to the video. So step one is installing Apache. To install Apache, type sudo yum install httpd. And uh, when it asks you if this is okay, press yes, or type y and it'll say yes. You're going to have uh, more in updates or installation files than I have right here, but I'm doing it really quick so to show you what it is like. Um, Alright, so now HTTPD or Apache is installed, so we need to start the service. So sudo service HTTPD start. That will start the service. Now, to make sure that it's working correctly so far, open up your web browser and uh, navigate to localhost. As long as you see the Fedora test page, you are good to go. So, so far so good. Next step is to install MySQL. MySQL is the powerful database management system that is used for organizing and retrieving data on your virtual server. You'll want to make sure this is installed just in case of whatever coding you end up doing on your localhost. So to install this, you're going to run sudo yum install MySQL MySQL server and then dash y. Now let me explain what this is. You already know what yum install is and sudo. Uh, MySQL is uh, the installation you want to install, and MySQL Server is also another service that you want to install. They're separated by a space. So if you want to install more than one thing at a time, you separate each service by a space. And then finally, the dash Y will skip the um, verification we did here. Uh, let's see, where was it? Right here. It'll skip this and just uh, accept it and move on. So I'm going to run that real quick. See, it skipped it, and now it's downloading the packages that I need, and it will install it real quick. Again, you're going to have probably about 27 packages, as long as you haven't installed this before. I installed it real quick, and then uninstalled it, just to make it quick for us to move, so we don't waste time. Alright, so then once it's installed, you're going to want to start this service as well. So, sudo service mysqld start. So just like HTTPD, you started that service this way, you're going to start MySQLD this way, and that'll start your MySQL. And it's loading. Okay, so it's done now. So now you're going to need to set up your root MySQL password. So to do this, you're going to type sudo slash user usr slash bin slash mysql underscore secure underscore installation this is going to run the configuration installation 
and it's going to ask you for a current root password, but you don't have one, so enter for none. Now you're going to want to set a password, so type Y, and now type in your password that you're going to set for your MySQL. This doesn't have to be the same password as your user account is. And then confirm. And then for the rest of these, you're just going to uh, accept each one. So press yes and enter all the way to the end. And now you have MySQL installed. So the final thing to do is install PHP. So to do this, type sudo yum install php space php dash See if I can type this right, dash my SQL. Again, this is going to install two different services or packages, and then the dash Y for skipping the confirmation. Now this one I have not installed yet, so it's going to be a little bit longer than it was before, but this is only six packages, so you were good here. Um, as this installs, once this is installed, there's a bunch of PHP libraries and modules that could be useful for you and for your server. If you want to install these, um, there's a search command inside yum that'll tell you about a little bit about each uh, module, as I'm going to show you right now. So PHP is installed, and now I'm going to show you how to search for the PHP module. So yum search PHP dash is going to return all the different PHP modules and libraries that you can install separately once it uh, loads all the packages. There we go. So all these different uh, packages and it gives a little bit about each one. So as you can see there's a lot of different uh, PHP packages. And uh, to get more info about the package, say for instance, I wanted to get more info about, uh, let's say, this one here, the tidy. You type uh, yum info, info, and then uh, php dash, what was it? Uh, tidy dot x86 underscore 64. And uh, again, that'll load, but it'll give you more information about it and a website to go to to see even more information about it. And of course, to install that is the same syntax we've been using, uh, sudo yum install, and then the packages, and dash yes if you want to skip that uh, confirmation. Okay, so this is great now. We have LAMP installed now. Everything's installed, and everything should be running. Um, to make sure that when you restart all uh, the services are running correctly, you're, you need to um, add the uh, you need to add the processes to the check config. So sudo check config httpd on. That's going to turn that service on. Uh, yeah, it should should turn the service on. So now it's set to uh, start up whenever you start your computer on. Do the same thing. Uh, check config uh, mysql d on. It does the same thing. So now everything's running and working, but how do you know that's for sure? To do this, let's uh, create a PHP info page. Uh, type sudo gedit slash var slash www slash html slash info dot php. What this is going to do is it's going to create a new file in the var www html directory which is where your localhost points to for all its new files. Um, it's going to create the info dot php file and open it in gedit so we can edit it. And there we go. So now this is a new file named info dot php and let's type in the syntax here and PHP info, just like that. Save, close. All right, and now you need to restart the service. So sudo service httpd restart, and once it restarts, we can go to the web browser and go to our local host. Local host. This is the same page we had. So now we go to slash PHP info dot php and this will take us oh it should have taken us there ah i 
spelt the name wrong. It's just info.php. And there you go. So any files that you put in the var HTML, uh, var www.html file folder will be um, put onto the website. So let's go here, uh, computer var www.html, there's your info. So you can put folders, you can put files in here, you just need to uh, move them through the console. And that's how to install LAMP onto your Fedora 18 device. Thanks for watching.